Those, that word is yeah. gonna, it's a trigger. Yep. It's gonna make people uncomfortable yeah. because um, you think about KKK and, yeah. you know, evil things. Yeah, yeah. And so why did you choose that wording? Yeah, because I, I, I think it's the ideology behind these numbers. Because it's what, what's behind it of white supremacy is that one group, white people, to that group, there are folks that think they're superior to the other folks and that they hire other folks. They give jobs to other folks. They promote other folks. You just have to look at that number of Asian and Asian Americans. Asian and Asian Americans have more folks in Silicon Valley than white people, but they have half of the executive positions. Why is that? What's going on behind those numbers? Why do we have places that have all the money they need in our valley for education and some don't? And they happen to be white folks are primarily in those spaces, Los Gatos, Saratoga, and many others, Hillsboro and more, or Hillsboro, that's what the Palo Alto, other spaces and places. Poverty, King would say this, poverty is the great greatest violence you can do to one another, right? Poverty. And so if you look at the numbers, who's in poverty? Who is homeless? It's black and brown people in far numbers. So while white supremacy can allow George Floyd and, and have that, his life not matter, right? And, and why that officer did that, there was a, a white supremacist ideology around that, surrounding that. Just in the same way, when you don't hire black women, even though Reverend Moore talked about the numbers being overwhelming that there are folks to hire, what's behind that? Now, there could be other explanations. I would just argue that when it's consistent in every institution that you look at, that the pattern behind that is this idea that whites are somehow superior, whether that be intellectually or in, in, you know, in their uh, skills, but it's based on whiteness rather than on their, uh, the actual reality. So I think that's why, that's why white supremacy was chosen. Okay, and allies become a big word now? Allies, you know? Well, I think, I think the only way that this is, just as we've had the changes in our, um, and, and you know, not the changes that we want yet, but with re regards to the police reform and, and the talk about what's going to be the transformation of the police, that our, my hope by writing this, and the Institute's hope, I believe, is, is that it will be catalytic in looking at other institutions. You know, it's right that we have the focus on criminal justice system, absolutely, but there are other systems, institutions involved. So that's the hope of, of broadening it, keeping, you know, focus on the police, uh, you know, the changes within the police and the transformation within the police, but broadening it to the, all the other institutions. Yeah. Um, San Jose State has an excellent journalism program. I hired students from there. Awesome. Are you going to be doing that? those kids really? They've nailed it with podcasting and video and everything else. Are you going to be working working with them? Yeah. Halima, do you want to take the question? Did you sure. hear that question? Yeah, yeah. Halima's going to answer. Hi, I teach journalism here. Yourself, Halima. Okay, yeah. excellent. I'm Halima Kazan Stoyanovich. I teach journalism here at San Jose State. and. Uh, Halima, H-A-L-I-M-A. Hang on, wait, don't K-A-Z-E-M. Um, we do, actually, the Human Rights Institute has a big component called the Human Rights Institute Network, and um, part of the work that I'm doing with the Human Rights Institute is creating human rights reporting curriculum, where we work with students to understand some of these deep issues um, that are going on and be able to effectively report on them. for you to have bodyguards to keep you from the press. Sir, who employs you? Mr. Rosen, how much did it cost you to go to Germany to talk about the prisons in Germany and then quash the, the sheriff's budget and claim that you're serving victims when you know you're not? Mr. Rosen, you are failing victims in this county. You are lying about what you are doing. You are stealing state and federal money. Mr. Rosen, who is paying your goons to protect you? 
he, he knows how to walk and film at the same time. Yeah, maybe enforce my visitation orders and not tell me about a pillar. Mr. Rosen, did you forget to tell the supervisors how you, you and Terry Harmon let down the victim? Have a nice day. You too, Mr. Rosen. And how much are you paying your bodyguards? I guess we'll be doing a records request for that. Failure. I hope your children will be proud of your legacy, Mr. Rosen. I don't think they will be when I get done. How many other visitation orders are you not enforcing in our county, Jeff Rosen? I just want you to start naming the names of who you called and who you try to get help for. Damien Trujillo from the NBC Investigates, uh, all the local news channels I, I called to get to bring light to the victim services and the lack of funds that they were giving back to victims that were approved for services. And let's see, there was Officer Din, there was uh, Officer Vera, Detective Vera, Detective Din. What police department? San Jose, all San Jose PD and SAIU unit, Sexual Assault Investigative Unit. Uh, there was a, there were so many others that initially responded to my rape, but every account was false once I got a hold of the surveillance.